Can we prove it? Let's prove it. All you tongue speakers, thank God for y'all. I'm glad that y'all speak in tongues. Paul said, I would as you all speak in tongues. He says, but there's a better work for you to do. Like your tithe payers. Jesus says, for those people during that, 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 that time, that dispensation, you're doing a good thing because there's a temple there. Y'all ain't got no temples. Y'all call y'all churches holy temple, this temple, that. Y'all ain't got no temples. Stop playing. Ain't no, there ain't no temples today. <laughs> ain't, no, ain't no temples today. <laughs> ain't no Levites in there. Ain't no altar in there. Stop playing. He said, but you're forgetting a way to matter. So you people who are speaking in tongues, you're forgetting something. You're forgetting something. So uh, at the bottom, he say, discerning of spirits to another, diverse tongues. At the bottom. Come on, Charles. Jesus didn't pay tithes. Quite a few of the disciples didn't pay tithes. Paul didn't have to pay no tithes either. He was a tent maker. At the very bottom, he said kind, different kinds of tongues to another interpretation of tongues. Why did he put that at the bottom when Marcus says that a man ain't even saved unless he's speaking? If that was important, why would Paul downgrade it to the bottom of the list? Huh? I'm Confucius. I, 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 I just don't understand why Paul would do something like that. Why would he do something like that? I'm upset with him. Somebody give me Paul's phone number. I want, I want, I want his number. And then chapter 14, look what he say. Look what he say. For he that speaks in an unknown, this is the problem. The word unknown is the problem because it is italicized. I, I do this all the time for the book of people. What does italicized mean in your KJV? Can somebody put it? In the comment section. What does that mean? Because every time I see it. It's our talent to the size. What is that all about? Every time I see it. It's a talent size. Why? Look at that. There it is again. What is that all about? Somebody said it was added. So then how do you read that if that was added? For he that speaketh in an tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. No man understand him. How be it in the spirit, he speaks mysteries. But he does, this is the part that got folks saying that there's a heavenly language. Y'all gone bunkers over there because nobody explained it to you. You had to find yourself. So if you're edifying yourself, why are you speaking on the microphone in front of everybody in the, in the, in the church? It's for yourself. And you know what, 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 what you alls strength is? Your strength is right here. Though I speak with tongues of men and angels. That's where your problem is. You think that there's a heavenly language because Paul said in the love chapter, there's angels. But look at that symbol right there. Can y'all tell me what that symbol means? That means something is going on. They're getting ready to explain what who these angels are. And this is a KJ to the V Bible. The KJV is giving Marcus Rogers hints. And he won't read the hints. Road sign said yield. He don't want to see the yield sign. Am I upsetting y'all? 